Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to install or add a TPM or Trusted Platform Module to a Windows computer in VMware Workstation so you can install Windows 11. So what we've noticed so far is if you were to do a clean installation on VMware Workstation, you don't need to have the TPM added, but if you try and do an upgrade from Windows 10, then you do. So right here I have a Windows 10 computer and I have my Windows 11 ISO file mounted here, so we're going to try the upgrade here and see what happens. So we're going to not download updates for the sake of time. So it does this check of the PC. See, now it says this PC must support TPM 2.0. So we're going to close this. And then what we'll do is we'll have to shut down the computer to add it. Okay, so now we go to the settings for the VM, and then we're going to add Trusted Platform Module, but you'll see here that you have to be using UEFI and encryption, so to do that, we're going to need to go to Options, and then Access Control, and we're going to encrypt it, and make up a password here, type it correctly. And click on encrypt. Now this thing here for encryption, this might take 10 plus minutes. So we'll pause the video and then come back to it when it's done. Okay, so the encryption is complete. So we have that done. And then we could also go to the advanced section here and make sure this is on UEFI, which it is by default for this installation, at least so I didn't have to change it. All right, so we'll click OK. Actually, before we do that, we need to add the TPM. So we'll click on add. Trusted Platform Module, Finish, OK. So I just like to make sure it took it. OK, so that's good. So we're going to power it back on and see what happens. OK, so we're logged back in. So let's, uh, so now let's now try the installation again. Okay, we'll skip the updates again, click on next. Now here, here goes the check again. All right, so accept the agreement, looking good. Okay, so it looks like things are gonna work. So we have another video on the whole uh, Windows 10 to Windows 11 upgrade procedure. So put a link in the description for that so you can check that out too. And one interesting video we did too is we um, upgraded a Windows 10 computer to Windows 11 and then removed the TPM and then rebooted it and it actually stayed running. So it's almost like Windows only looks for the TPM when it's installing and then not after that. So we thought that was kind of interesting. It might be different on an actual physical PC compared to a VM. So I guess you'd have to do that on a physical PC to tell for sure, but it was kind of fun to find out. But anyway, so yeah, so that's how you enable your TPM on uh, Windows for Windows 11 installation for VMware Workstation, just make sure you turn on that encryption as well and make sure that UEFI BIOS is set up there and you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.